people, man. What's up, good people? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Jared King. Go ahead and follow me at triple underscore the king, triple underscore. Go ahead and follow my boy, Brian, my brother, at kinghead57 on Twitter and Instagram. You already know. Shout out to the good people at the Barber's Chair Network. Go ahead and follow them on Twitter and IG at the Barber's, at Barber's Chair Net. Subscribe to the Barber's Chair Network Patreon at patreon.com slash Barber's Chair Network and visit the bcnet.com. Got all the King's Landing episodes. Y'all can fact check all the score predictions, all the L's we took, all the W's we racked up, you know. But hey, it's not it's not victory week. But I ain't too mad. I'm not too mad, man. I don't, I don't get to crack a brew on on, on on for y'all people. I don't get to take a good chug for the good people, but it is what it is. Falcons are three and three. That's about exactly what I feel right now. Like right in the middle. There's some good, there's some bad, some wins, some losses. You know, losing to the commander sucks. 24 to 16. You know, we lost. Defense for another game doesn't give up more than 24 points. Ritter throws for another 300 yard game, but three picks. You know, Drake goes for nine catches on 12 targets, 125 yards. You know, can't it's it's some stuff to be happy about. It's some stuff to be mad about, man. We're gonna get into it. How you feel, brother? It is, brother. You know, I'll take the 12 targets to Drake. You know, he's getting he's getting targeted like a real receiver now, finally. I like to see him neck and neck with Terry McLaurin as he should be fed. Uh, we 500, brother. You know, that's about it. We're still in running for first place in the South. <laughs> you know, we we doing the, the easy lifting right now. You know, our, our division isn't isn't one of the toughest in in the NFL right now. But hey, NFC champ is the NFC champ, and you go to the playoffs. So whatever, haters can hate all they want. Don't lose focus. That's the goal. That was the goal coming in. That's still the goal. We still we still got it in scope like a sniper. So hey. drop one, drop, you know, a bad one. But I feel like that energy in Atlanta was low anyway coming into the game. So, you know, we caught a couple of L's in the city. First with the Braves, then with, you know, co-prime and them. You know, we we that's that's distant relative. That's still family though. So, you know, on to the next. Yeah, yeah. Like I just, I'm not mad. Like even after the game, like as soon as it ended, it was just kind of like, all right, it happened. And then you look up. Browns beat the the Niners with PJ Walker. Jets beat the Eagles. It was one of them. It was one of those weeks where it's like I think it was only four four quarterbacks who had a, a passer rating over sixty this week. It was just a week where you like, what the hell is going on? Anything could have happened. Anything and everything that could have happened happened. So, you know, I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not mad, man. You know, Ritter Ritter threw. If you would have gone into the season, said you know to all the doubters, I bet you Ritter throws for. 600 yards in two games. They'd be like, hell no. Never. Impossible. <laughs> like, hey, that's one of the that's one of the pluses. But then it's like, bro, you threw three picks. Like, yeah, this is a Matt Ryan. This is a late career Matt Ryan game right here. Yeah, man. So 47 passes. Like, is that a career high? Yeah. That's inexcusable. 50 passes. 50 passes. Let me. You pass, that's just way too much. That is just mm-hmm. way too much from a quarterback in, in his 10th start. That's way too much for most quarterbacks. I mean, you throw it 50 times, that means you're getting blown out. You're trying to catch up. And we weren't getting blown out. Like, right. To not, to, to, to have 29 carries. Yeah, it was at three, you know, sub four. They had 3.7 yards per carry. But still, we were getting blown out to the Bengals, and Mariota still didn't throw that much. We beat the we beat the Niners. Mariota threw the ball thirteen times. 
we were playing the Browns last year. They they took the ball out of Mariota's hands and ran it 13 straight times. And we got Ritter, and it's like, cool, throw it, keep throwing it. What are we doing? And they get mad when he throws three interceptions. That's – we're asking for it. Like, right. he, he already leads the league in turnover-worthy plays, and you're going to put him out there. So – I don't. I don't even have a comment on that one. I mean, I think this was Art's worst game as a coach. I mean, we couldn't get play calls yeah. in, late substitutions, delay of games. I mean, you know, yeah, one of them was on Ritter, but it's like you're the head coach, bro. Call the timeout. You got the play call right. in late. You see what's going on. We see what's going on, and you just are. He just he folded, and it's like. Ritter's not at a point yet. Who knows if he'll ever be at that point as a as a player, but it's like he's not at a point to say, all right, cool, it's chaos, but don't worry about it. Like, I'm gonna sort it out. Like Matt Ryan wasn't even doing that as a as a as a rookie mm-hmm. second year player. Like he wasn't doing that until 2015, 2016. Right. So Do we have enough patience for that with the heat coming out. Cause we got some heat coming in the draft at quarterbacks, brother. Hey. In the pipe. I, t- I tweeted it. I tweeted it earlier. I said Desmond Ritter got 11 more games to earn 2024's quarterback seat. That's it. We. That's really Sound it. Sounds like a hot seat I'm, to me. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for him, but it's still just a third round pick. Like you, if he leads the league in turnover worthy throws, which he's on pace to have the same amount of turnover worthy passes as Jameis did in his 30 for 30 season. <laughs> Big and Jameis ain't been starting. Jameis ain't been starting since. Mm. So, you know, Ritter the 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 quality we said is Ritter can make the right reads, process, and not turn yep. the ball over. That's... He turned the ball over, and that was, <laughs> and it's 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 crazy because that was one of his. That was those are his strengths, and now it's like, what are you doing? Yep. Yep. So, but then again, on the flip side, he threw some dimes. The touchdown to Pitts was a dime. He threw a whole shot to Drake London. That was a dime that he didn't bring in. Like he threw some good passes where it's like, all right, we cooking. Like even a deep shot to uh to uh Van Jefferson. I've known this man four days. Cock back. Right. He missed him by what a yard. I'll take that. I will take that when I turn the TV on for Monday Night Football and Justin Herbert is missing Keenan Allen by five yards. Right. Wide open. Keenan Allen was wide open on both of his misses, and that's a quarterback that Justin Herbert has known since he got drafted. And so it's like – so it was like it was like this the whole game, where it's like we, we should have won that game. And I feel like the commanders literally were just standing there watching us beat ourselves. Like they 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 never drove the ball more than 50, 52 yards. That was their longest drive. And they literally just sat there and watched us. It was like, look at them. They can't figure out how to beat us. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I'm not too mad. Like, you're not gonna be you're not gonna beat yourself too many times. In a 17 game season, if you're a well coached team, which is why I got the heat on art. If this shit starts happening repeatedly, it don't matter who the quarterback is. If the play call come in late, you could put Mahomes out there. It's the delay a game. You saw that got one last night. So, yeah. You know, and like you say, he's a second round, I mean, second, second year. Oh, we just don't call him a rookie shoot. He, he ain't seen no real game time last year with the, with, the, with the team for real but you got to do the small things and even going for it not going for it going for that two-point conversion that's the stuff like like what are you doing bro? just do the just do the regular stuff like just do the basics don't don't try to get cute stop passing from inside the 10 run the ball we're a running team we got Algier and, and Bijan I don't care if Algier can only run right run it right do what you got to do. That just, that's what, 
we're six games in. We've gotten inside the five multiple times in three games. The 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 the, the Packers game with the Texans game. Now this game, and Art gets cute. And then it's like, yeah, Ritter threw the pick, but bro, we shouldn't have been passing. We should not have been passing. That you get to the you get to the to the three. You you basically. And this is why I'm like, okay, I'm fine with them going for two because you then you got right back to the same situation to tie it up. You basically are running your two point conversion plays. Boom, boom, boom. All right, these are the plays we're gonna run to score. You can't even get them in. You can't even get them executed. And then Ritter throws a pick, and it's like that's what everybody talked about. And it's like, yes, Ritter threw the pick. I'm not absolving him of throwing the pick. Throw it out of the end zone. But coach, you the one who got the you you the one who put him in this situation. So rough. But you know we're gonna keep rocking. We're gonna keep rocking, man. We're going to keep rocking, but, hey, that's one, that's probably one that you just kind of, that's one that you just kind of just rock off. You just, you just, you just dust the tape off. You just eat it, move on to next week, and you just, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. I mean, the Cowboys got blown out. And then followed up with a, a close win on the road against the Chargers, and that's what I'm hoping the Falcons do. I mean, we don't get to play a team like the Chargers, but you know, you got the Bucks, divisional opponent. You know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. My brother, I think you're on mute, my brother. I see your mouth moving. Oh, go on. My bad, Thank brother. <laughs> I, said, I was like, I, I see your that. mouth moving. I'm like. Yeah, my bad. I, I was saying, what, what are we doing with, with Cordero, brother? Like, is he trade fodder? I don't think he was hurt. Somebody made a comment. Somebody tweeted something after the game, and they were like, you know, he was hurt. It was probably worse than we let on, something, something, something. And Cordero was basically like, please, please tell them. Like, so I don't think I don't think he was that healthy. I mean, for for him to whatever his injury was that they never disclosed it, he was missing preseason and missing games and not practicing. I don't think I don't think he was healthy. And I you do get it. I mean, too. but yeah, but it's like also it's like he had what year one. He slowed down after 12 games. Last year, he slowed down after, what, 10, 12 games. So it's like, all right, you might only have 10 games of Cordero, so play him the back 10. Ain't no point in playing him the front 10, and then you run out of gas, and now, you know, you mess around in in a race for the division, and you don't have one of your best weapons. So, Right. So – yeah, I, I was saying earlier, I think we match up pretty well against the Buccaneers, though. Just looking at them from an offensive standpoint, they – I think – I'm I'm not a big fan of Baker Mayfield. No. Nah. He's shown that he can't get it done. So, I think with our secondary, I think their passing game is the strength of their offense. And so, we line up. Put us, put us up there. I hope we send more pressure this game too, brother. I want to see us actually attack. I want to see them get back to the mantra of what they started in the beginning, and not revert to this, this, this sit back and play. You know, defense. We play. We've been playing good defense, but I want to see us get after it for real. Yeah, and get after uh, Baker Mayfield. You know, you know how I feel about them little short quarterbacks. Yeah. No. I- I get it with with the commanders. I mean, you got 
McLaurin, Dotson, Samuel, they fast. So it's like, mm, Sam Howell going to walk into a couple sacks. I mean, they held them boys to less than 200 yards of offense. They couldn't get a drive to get, you know, going unless it was a short field. So I, I get it. But, yeah, like, you know, it's Mike Evans. It's Chris Godwin. Trey Palmer's fast. I give Trey Palmer fast. But that's that's the offense. Yeah, I, Trey Palmer doesn't scare offense. me. Yeah. And so it's like that's this should be one of those games where it's like, I know you can't run the ball, so I'm going to just go – I'm going to just get after you. Like, I'm going to go, go get Baker Mayfield. Right. Create some short fields. Because I don't think Ritter's going – I don't think they got any 70, 80-yard drives in them. Not at all. Not against this defense. I don't want Ritter throwing too much against this secondary. He gonna have to. That deep, that front seven. If if they couldn't run on the Commanders, I don't see them running on the Bucks. Not at all. So this feels like a cool game. Yeah, I can see this being a, a 17 14 tight. Mm-hmm. So, because I mean, I gotta give you know. Jamel Dean, Carlton Davis. I got to give them credit, man. They said going into the season, we everybody sleeping on the Bucks. Baker Mayfield started off, you know, hot. Their OC is is spoon feeding Baker easy reads, unlike what we're doing for Ritter. You know, it's not a good offensive attack, but Baker at least gets to do some easy things. Right. And we're rinse and repeat. We ran one play, man. It was upsetting. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't the play design. It was the time in which the play was run. When we went trips, I want to say gun strong, sent the back out in motion, and then handed the ball off underneath the Bijan. Like, who designed this? It's cute. Yeah. It's motion, it's motion for the sake of motion, like. I get right. motion gives you reads. I get motion X, Y, and Z. I get it. But like he's it's 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 a lot of just nothingness. It's like they draft the Bijan and say, ooh, let's see what we can draw up. Instead of yeah. just sticking to the bread and butter first. And then yep. do what you do. Yep. And then sprinkle some of that in. Y'all haven't even like that. The offense hasn't even Hasn't even got to rolling the way that they need to be for them to be rolling out these kind of formations. Yep. And these five wide sets. I know we talked about it in the beginning, but bro, like I'd rather see the down the dog on tight ends line up and block and run block and roll grade. Man. And just, just hand off and punch folks in the mouth. We stopped doing that. They they ran a uh I don't know if it was a toss, but I know it was outside zone to the right. They had Mac Hollins blocking Montez Sweat. It's like, hey, y'all, this still a receipt. And the worst part is, you got Matt Ryan on the broadcast. I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yes, like this is what you're you're throwing your young quarterback out there. At least Matt could be like, all right, like that's probably not. Let's maybe go to the other side. Ritter, like, bro, right. you this is the play you call. And who's the vet? Like, who's the vet quarterback that we have outside of mm-hmm. Heineken? Like in the, in the in the in the in the in the in the room. Come on, man. Heineke. People call got, for Heineke. They got one backup quarterback. They got Logan Woodside. They ain't got they nobody. Got mm-hmm. It's a like, it's a, a vet. Thing. Yeah. It's it's just you it's a young thing. That, my bad. Nobody nobody's sitting here pounding the table to say, ooh, learn from Taylor Heineke after learning from Marcus Mariota. No, I say right. that. At least Mariota had. At least I feel like Mariota had a brain. Now the physical aspect, mm. mm-hmm. but at least he's breaking down film the way a vet, a real NFL vet, should break down film. Somebody's out there. Like you can't tell me somebody's out there. Hell, bring in Philip Rivers and tell him just stop playing football. Like, stop coaching. Like bring somebody in, Andrew Luck. So like somebody, bring in Cam. Here Cam right the, around the corner. Here come the weekly Mike Pep Hamilton. 
get a quarter real quarterback coach. David Ragone is not good, and He's a not real it. offensive coordinator. Let Arthur Smith just be a head coach. Let Pat Hamilton be a quarterback coach slash offensive coordinator, and we can get this thing rocking. Like, oh, it's so much. And I think the the thing that bothers me is it's so much talent in Georgia and Atlanta with high school football. Are they tapping into any of this? I don't know, man. Like, Brad, like, come on. I don't know. Everybody want to talk about Georgia, Georgia Tech. We got we got high school football being played at the highest level in the country, right here in the city and in the state. Not I'm not talking about them, them doggone wing T folks and triple option folks. I'm talking about the folks that spreading out, throwing the ball, and designing actual plays. Like, are they even going to the high school games to even see what's out there? Like, man. who are the scouts? Hey. Like y'all can get y'all can get way y'all can get just some some football experience and see how a, a, an efficient offense should be run with a young quarterback. That's a high school team, bro. Hey, I don't know. We're gonna see. I mean, because the top uh, top balls gonna stress these boys out on Sunday. I mean, coming. My guy, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm drawing a blank on his name on Twitter, but he was like, bro, they've been running. They they got one. Uh, they bread and butter uh, route scheme. It was an over, over route, spot route, flat route. He was like, every time they went to a bunch, here you go. And he's like, mm-hmm. they, they showed it against the Texans, and it was rolling. And then they ran against the commanders, and the commanders started jumping it. And I'm like, yep. that party, again, they picking off Ritter because it's like, I know the play coming. The same way Jesse Bates picked off Bryce Young. It's like, the young quarterback and then got cooked stuff like that. Then got cooked against the tight end because they because they <laughs> tagged the double move on it. They <laughs> even on the broadcast they were like, "All right, we've seen this play a couple times. Maybe they're setting up for a double move." No, why? Why no. would I do that? Why would I set my quarterback up with a double move when I'm seeing them jumping these routes? Like it's just it's so frustrating, man. And that that bugs defense, man. Antoine Winfield gonna get a pick. Mm-hmm. You know, we're gonna. I'm see. not speaking that, that. I ain't speaking that devil into existence. That's one of my favorite players in the league. Him and Grant Delpit, man, they shining. We got stuck with Richie Grant. <laughs> That's your boy. You caped up for him. I did, man. I was excited for Richie, but Richie can't tackle, bro. Richie could tackle at UCF. Richie was a good player at UCF. Richie is about to get relegated to the Jalen Hawkins role because the Atlanta Falcons are about to trade for Kevin Byard, winner from Tennessee. You see that coming? Do we got? Is that why we made cap room? I mean, they just cut Jalen Hawkins, man. They just cut Jalen. Mm-hmm. They just cut Jalen Hawkins today. Today. Wow. Mm-hmm. So. Farewell, sir. They need safety depth. DeMarco came in and took uh, Jalen's job, but, you know, <laughs> Richie, Richie can get relegated, man. That's – yeah. Because it's like every time Richie pops up, he had – he had um, um, Terry McLaurin stop for like a seven-yard game, one-on-one. Just go up, cut him down, bro, one-on-one. Richie just – all hands. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? So it's like, yeah, make Richie a third safety. Start phasing Richie on out. Let DeMarco start getting these snaps because Richie, Richie a second round pick. Richie's Richie's in a contract year next year. Richie gonna be in Philadelphia. Mm, Richie gonna be gone. Richie probably going to the Jags. You know, he's from Florida. So that's why I'd send him to Philly. They're not trading him. The center of Tennessee. You can have Richie Grant and a fifth for Kevin Byard. But anyway, man, let's get into these bucks, man. What we got? I like, I mean, we already talked about it. I ain't really, I ain't really too high on Baker, man. You know, I like the matchup. We back in the division. We already took down the Panthers. You know, we're not, we're not out of it. Three and three don't feel too good. The Bucks are three and two right now. They already had their bye week. Mm-hmm. Go win. Mike Evans got a long road ahead of him with that hamstring. Yeah, man, go win. 
B2 and on the division again. Nobody care what happens if you win the division and win the playoffs. Exactly. Like you said to start, go win a division first. That's that's the goal to start the season. I want 10 wins, but win a division. First. First, second, third. And then we can go from there. So I like I like the chances, man. You know, the Bucks. The Bucks, Baker Mayfield just cracked a thousand yards. They only average in 200 yards passing the game, not even 80 yards rushing the game. They basically are averaging a tie. They average in 18 points a game on offense, and they're giving up 17.6 per game on defense. So, you know, yeah. Baker was throwing some wounded ducks out there last game too. Hey. It's supposed to be a good, you know, sunny 80 degree game on Sunday. So no weather, no weather factor. We got the over under set at 38. <laughs> cool. Cool game. Kickers galore. Kickers roulette. Right. Well, 38 action, man. You know, you like the you like the uh it's a little gloomy. I know if people are gonna be listening, you're gonna miss the you gotta watch the YouTube, man. It's a little I got the Halloween effect is going on in the back, but ain't nobody stunned that cap. Come on, man, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's uh it's almost midnight down there in the <laughs> south. <laughs> but uh, but no, I'm with it, man. I'm gonna jump into it, man. We're gonna hey over under passing yards. Desmond Ritter or Baker Mayfield? Ooh, switched it up on you this one. I was about to say, come on, what you got? Trick or treat. Who going to have more? Desmond Ritter or Baker Mayfield? Baker Mayfield. Ooh. You get back. The toting is rock. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. I got one over or under. Two turnovers for the Falcons. Under. Ritter throws one pick on a tip pass. It's not his fault. But the, <laughs> the internet is going to go up in storm. <laughs> yeah, no. Over, under for Baker. Two picks. It depends on... Mm. Oh man, give me one. I take the under. He's only thrown three. He don't really put the ball in in harm's way. He gonna go to he gonna go to Mike Evans a lot. Mike Evans had ten targets, but he only had forty nine yards. So you said one. Does a cooter get that one? <sighs> Jeffrey D. Offered. You love D. Offered. Yeah, man. It's gonna be Helms. Cause I don't <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I don't I don't see Jeffrey making plays on the ball like pick plays. I see him on some like I just don't want you. He's like true fine. I don't want you to just I just don't even want you to catch it. Just don't even come over here because you're not gonna catch it. Definitely. That's but, how I feel. Yeah, Offered wanna make plays. I don't know. AJ didn't have a good game last game. Like he just, he just was there. So I hope he bounced back. I hope he bounced back. It's a divisional game. Get him out of Atlanta a little bit. Um, right. Over Take under, three. over under rushing yards for Atlanta. One twenty. Ooh, as a team. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm going over. I think Bijan finally breaks one. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. They only and they I only think, give up. I think, Algier, I think Tyler gets going. I think Tyler will go for about I get Tyler about 75. Yeah. They only give up 84 on the ground a game. That's why I said we're gonna get back to doing what we do. I hope so. Like, I feel like if they go if they go over a hundred yards rushing, that means they in control of the game. That means volume. 
If they exactly. hit 120, yeah, if they hit 120, that means they ran the ball 30 times. Yeah. I'll take isn't that. that what, isn't that how we built? Yep. I don't know That's why we're getting away from it, trying to be cute. Shit, and shit. I'm I'm getting sick of all this motion and all this stuff. Line up and run power. Sometimes run you're just running, running at him, man. You sitting up there motioning the fullback and, and doing all this cute stuff. Line up and run run the ball. We had Ryan Newzel starting at tight end and running in motion. It's like it's stuff like that where it's like you gonna blame the quarterback or you gonna look at the head coach. And then we signed 15 tight ends. Where John Fitzpatrick at that we drafted? But yeah, stuff like that, man. Just cut the cute shit out and just go play your brand of football. Like that's it's been it's been the way it's been that way since week two. You know, yeah. you get to the you get to the one yard line. I'll never, I just can't get it out of my head. We get to the one yeah, yard bro, line. It's just the same. It's the same taste, it's and that's that. why the fans. It's hard for the fans to buy into it. Yep, it's that. It's like we get to the one and you. Getting cute, throwing the ball, doing all this cute shit. When we last year, we were just running through over and over and over and over and over. That's what the offense was last year, just running the ball. And now, ooh, we got Bijan. Ooh, tricked you. Ooh, and even Bijan getting cute with that damn one hand. The brother sat Bijan down and said, "What the boy? That was a drop in Bijan, the Bijan, I'm getting sick of them playing Bijan at receiver. This is not a receiver. This is a top flight running back. Play him as such. Like, give him the ball. Run the ball. Send him to the sideline. Bring Algerian. Run the ball to the right. I'm running to the right. Lindstrom, yeah. are you all pro or not? Is 77 still playing? Nah, McGarry played. McGarry had a good game. I give McGarry his credit. Coming off right. game. But yeah, run the ball. I got, I got, I got Lindstrom, McGarry, and News on the right, and you want to run cute counter pullback, boy. Right. If you don't run, run a little ball. slow motion and get Newsle right behind the behind Lindstrom and just run power behind it, so that's what that's run what I ball. hope, man. Give this me- is a proven recipe. Stop trying to be cute. Yep. So that's what I'm hoping for. So, hey, they got they got the uh, the over under at 38. I already I already spoiled my prediction, man. I'm going. I'm taking the under. Ooh, I never predict the Falcons lost though. But 17-14. 17-14, ugly. 14 on a walk off. No, no. I think the defense gets a stop. I think it's. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's like a – maybe you can call it like a, a – we kick the field goal with like three minutes left or something like that, and they get a stop. It's a go-ahead, but it ain't going to be a last second. 38? Yep. When's the last time we won in Tampa? Hmm. That's a good question. Matt Ryan We're battling some of those little ghosts. Yeah, because we got we got screwed on the Grady sack. Mm-hmm. Let's see real quick. There ain't nothing worse than a team coming into your crib and pounding the ball down your throat over and over and over. So give me Ooh. 2019. That's the last time. It's time for some get back. Give me – I'm going 25-17 birds. I like it. Okay. A little different okay. score. 25-17 because they went for two. Art going to be petty and go for two on y'all ass. <laughs> you know he, he got that petty streak. Yeah, y'all like that too that time, huh? <laughs> I still like that one. You like that yeah, one. We huh? did it in Tampa and we won, huh? Yeah. Yeah, baby. All Get right. back to what you do, man. I mean, nobody trying to see this all this motion, all this spread out past football. It's nice to see Drake get his, but Drake should have been getting his. They need to they need to get Drake involved 
However, they need to get Drake involved every game like that without throwing 47 balls. Right. Stop trying to get all these other little cute receivers involved. I'm getting tired of Scotty Miller. He, I'm not a big fan. He, hey, we he, gonna get Van Jefferson going. rolling, man. Van Jefferson. Yeah. Going with some, uh, they said like Van he, Jefferson was, out there. he was top five in uh, separation this week, first game in Atlanta. So I think I think that'd be nice. They 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 phasing Matt Collins out a little bit. They so. need to both of them. They can go. They ain't showing me nothing. Yep. It's 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 time. Uh, Mac Allen's can go back to Las Vegas and, and party. Yeah, baby, barefoot. Mm-hmm. So we don't need that. Hey, I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Let's go ahead and wrap it up for the people, man. Hey, hopefully we get a trade this week, man. We got two weeks before the trade deadline. I hope Terry's out here calling Daniel Hunter, Kevin Byer. You know, something gonna happen, baby. Something gonna happen. I hope so. So, all right, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been another excellent episode of King's Landing. We kept it short and sweet for you this week. Go ahead and follow my brother, Jared King, on X at triple underscore the King, triple underscore, and follow your boy, Brian King, at Kinghead57, everywhere that you can follow me. Holla. Winners. Chicken dinners.